hello again, everyone. Um, nice to see you. This is episode 22 of The Joy of Functional Game Dev. And the GitHub release for it is v0.21. End of episode 21, start of episode 22, if you happen to be following along. <clears throat> and let's get ourselves on over to the Trello board. And it looks perhaps a little different than it did last time. This is my second take at episode 22, because what I had really wanted to do was um, to be able to log in and log out of Game Jolt from within the game. And it turns out... Well, let's take a look. Text box in uh, mono game. And I will I'll show you how to create an input text box. So, there are... No, it wasn't answering the actual question. There's... Or is it this one? There are a number of... Here's, here's the kinds of things that I would, I would find where it looks up where actually you're going to write the thing to take the key state into keystrokes yourself. Um, and the pro there's if if we could exist under certain um, assumptions, that would be okay. But in the case of Game Jolt, I don't know what the legal characters are. And I don't, so I don't want to, um, I don't, I don't know, you could have an, a U with an umlaut, or the S set, or, um, some, some of the, uh, uh, some, some of the Eastern alphabets, or not alphabets, but some of the Eastern characters for, for Korean or Arabic, and I don't, in the end, I don't like the very, nope, we're going to have the, the very keyboard in front of me is the keyboard that somebody's going to use because the keyboard I have, which is the U.S. English keyboard, is the kind of keyboard that I could support with my um, with my login logout code. But so I said, okay, I, I there's got to be something better. And in mono game, no, not really. So what we're what I'm looking at for the future is uh, we're, I'm going to this is going to be probably the last project with Monogame. I'm going to move to SDL2. But at this point we are very close to the end of the project. And so making a switch at this time puts at risk our ability to get it done in the month of January. So I'm not going to, which means that the um goofy here's here's how you log in with the um, it's on the command line parameters that's going to be how we ship it am, am I completely happy with that no but um, I'm, I'm happier with that than I am with essentially saying screw you non-english keyboards I in in real life uh, I do have a job, and I um, fight very hard for proper localization of things. I like things to be localized. I also do like things to be cross-platform, which is why Monogame was my choice. Because even though, yeah, I'm using Visual Studio, I felt, you know, you could take the code and you could probably compile it for other platforms. Hadn't tried it. I don't have another platform to compile it for. But the same is also true of... Um, SDL2, and so I'll be, I think I'll be happy with that, and then also it's, it would be kind of like a homecoming for me, because years and years ago, if you go, uh, focus on SDL book, going to find, uh, once upon a time, I wrote uh, a book called Focus on SDL. 
So it's highly appropriate that I do that. But in any case, so what, what ha what's going to happen here is we're going to say, I will not do this. As a matter of fact, then I will archive this list, and we're just onto our polish list. And it's about enough talking of all of that stuff. So and then this is going to, we're going to archive that one. And what do we want? We want help screen, option screen, title screen. Uh, pause screen, better graphics. Uh, I don't know what we're going to actually do. More colorful fonts. Uh, you know what? We've got, a, we've got whatever color we want. So, archive that. Trophies. Okay. We are just going to start the start, start at the top. And when we come to the end. Oh, uh, we may also... Um, you know what? That's not a bad thing either. And hey, let's find out. Let's find out if Visual Studio gets confused again about a folder. No, we got we got a ship power tools new folder. The folder name is going to be update. And update is going to go right there. And we're going to move to folder. I gotta use F sharp. Move to folder. Update. Okay. Uh, now, if Visual Studio did not get confused, it failed. So let's try that again. And there's update. Okay, build now. And okay. I hereby conclude well, I still still can't say for certain it is either a problem with F sharp power tools or a problem with Visual Studio itself. Don't know which. <coughs> I do know that Using F sharp power tools to create a folder forces a restart of Visual Studio. So I guess for the for the uh, I think that winds up being tribal knowledge, and I think uh, so. Whenever you need to do that, make a bunch of if you have a bunch of folders, make a bunch of folders, restart, and then uh, arrange them as you wish. Because that's that's. A little, it's a little annoying. I, I don't mind. I don't mind saying. All right. So, after power tools, new, add a new item, and we will say, we're gonna update about state, and we're gonna we're gonna match up accordingly to everything else and I think I need pretty sure I need yeah, pretty sure I'm gonna need to update utility and new item update utility so yeah Let's get these. I think this is the best stuff for update utility. And we're lazy. I don't know that we need all of it. But we're going to anyway. Let the compiler optimize it out. That's what compilers are for. Well, for the cleaner code. Technically, for the cleaner code. Yeah, for technically for the cleaner code. Let's open update about state. <coughs> These trophies here. Oh. 
I'll then open up the utility. May not actually need it. So then the trophies. I don't know. Do I leave them? Leave them where they're used? Pardon me. Let's put them in the play state because that's the only place where they're used. Update. Okay. It'll still be better than. It'll be so much better <clears throat> than having them all in one massive file. And I'm going to update game over state. And of course, um, in doing this, we learn this is how we should really make our project from the first from the get go. state and hmm one may ask not necessarily I, I keep my render code away from my update code and this is on purpose And it doesn't make more sense to have your render code and your update code uh, in the same file. And um, I say no. It's similar to uh, oh, update. And it doesn't bother me that I have to go to two different places for two things that are that are related because in real life I. Um, work on things that are uh, that um, have a inversion of control so I use dependency injection in my day to day job update help state no, update help state and also I used um the model view controller, model view view, model, model view, model view, blah, blah, pattern, um, pretty much everywhere. And it's sort of like that. So uh, that's, this is, this is the game equivalent of model view controller, uh, except that, no, it is, it is, board state, Board state here would be the model. Uh, render is view and update is controller. So it is basically the same pattern and that's actually why I do it and why I'm so comfortable with it. Update options state. Keep forgetting that I keep putting the initial uh, initial blank line in there. Yeah, I've made the compiler very, very angry. Update about state. We're almost done. I already got this one. The final one is update high score state. Update high score state. Add. Keep typing because I assume it to be down here. Update score high score state. Okay. <coughs> and for our next trick, okay, we're going to put 
all of these in each thing. That's right. Just put those open declarations willy-nilly throughout the code. Who cares? I, I know a guy who, and, well, if it were the equivalent C sharp code, would be absolutely aghast. Maybe he's watching. Don't know. Okay, good game, bad buttons. Oh, so there are. Let's see. Definitely gotta have open update utility. That one, look for the little red dots. Yep, yep, Z. Put update utility. We're just going to put you down in every last one. Using the shotgun approach. So but now, actually, I think. I'm going to try. I'm going to get rid of all these. I need... I don't think I need that one. About game, help, high score, options, pause, play, title. Okay, over. Uh, help. High score. Options paused play and with a small L and title screen load game state. Load game state is in board state. So now utility is completely okay. And we only have those uh, opens that are appropriate. I'm going to build. So we make sure we're in a good state and then we're going to start going through these screens. One succeeded. Did you really? Can I play? Yep, I can. So. There's way... Well, as we've gone along, there's has been a lot less time actually playing the game. The, the game just now is a... is now a thing to perfect. And that, it's not the gameplay itself, because gameplay... It's not that altogether overwhelming, but that's really not the point here. Clearly a whole bunch of th other things that are not... Um, that are, that are not gameplay that go into making a game, as is obvious to anybody who's, who's worked on a game for more than like a day. But all right, back to Trello. Trello says fix the help screen. Okay, well, let's look at the help screen and what's wrong with the help screen. Hit F1. Yep. That's a help screen. Yep. All right. Uh, we don't need a we don't need a whole lot with the help screen. We're going to just kind of take a Oh, we'll actually go 60 here. We, we got we got lots of vertical space, and let's go with blue today. And we want to give um, you are a. I'll see what color do I what color do I make the guy? I forget. He's kind of blue. 
You are a light. You are a. You are a smiley face. All right. A light blue smiley face, and we'll put the graphic right next to that. We'll try to figure that out. And we'll put your goal. Your goal is to, um, well, to really enjoy life. Well, is to, the only thing that's really measured is to get, get paid. Goal is to get paid. Collect dollar signs or points. <coughs> Goal is we'll make the line say nah, 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 nah. Like dollar signs for points. Hearts. Hearts will improve mood and help you go faster for a while. Snowflakes will stop the clock allowing you to allowing you more time to collect other things. Um, try to balance between money, mood, and time extensions as hearts and snowflakes cost money. And that probably goes off the screen, but that's okay because that's the basis of it. And 21. We're probably going to need a couple, couple more lines if I know where to split it. F2. Alright. Yeah, for one thing, we're going to need to space it out more. We can, we can double the spacing, probably. You go faster. I think one of the things I want to do here. Is first off, let's let's double it up. It's gonna be 60, 120, 180, 240. Yeah, I know I haven't. Uh, 300, 360, and 420. Oh, I didn't. That one I don't need. Right after for a while. Well, also I want to <coughs> want to render my texture. I need one of these. Which one am I doing? Yes, that's avatar texture. All right. Okay, this is going to be zero sixty. And how big is this? Open the content. Avatar is how big are you? Um, is there anything to tell me? So, oh, 36 by 36. That's right. 
because we are doing all right <clears throat> and we'll put each of the icons next to next to the things and then we'll move them around So we can stay at zero. Dollar signs points. Hearts will do that. So I need it for hearts and snowflakes. One, two, three, four. Need one at one eighty. Need one at two forty. I need one at three hundred. So that's the is it called dollar. One's called heart. I call it snowflake, right? Nope, I call it snowflake. Okay, yes, I did. <laughs> Let's check it out. Up. Right, because remember, I centered it. So we're close. Okay, well, we'll add. Does it bother you to hard code things? Oh, 78, 198, 258, 318. So that should be right. And then for a while, so 70, while. And then we can move things around a little. Let's add 330, 390, let's put that back up 680. Gotta move the snowflake down by 36. Okay, so there's the that down by 36. Four day plus six, so fifty-four. Again, one. After a while, so I'm gonna give you plenty more time. Two, whatever. Okay, so two is the next thing. <laughs> After two, I need more time to collect other things. Yeah, that's right. We're manually doing this. We're saying write some text to this part of the screen, write some text to this part of the screen, and that's what we are okay with. Put that at 420. We'll see where we're at. Your goal is to get paid. Let's fix it not just to get paid. To get paid and be happy. Alright, <clears throat> now we're going to split the next one and then I think we're going to be done with the uh, with the help screen. One and time extensions after the after and time extensions. And I think uh, I think we're going to put a little extra space in between. So we're going to move that one down by another 30 and then split it after extensions. So split it right here. So 
put that at 450 and at 480. Remove you. Remove you. And then <clears throat> gonna do one more. And I'm gonna put it uh, two down. So I'm gonna put it at 600. And I always like to wish the player a just like to wish the player good luck. We'll do it even in a uh, well. Let's. I don't even know what these are. We're gonna we're gonna wish them luck in blanched almond, cause that seems like the thing to do, doesn't it? I don't even know what blanched almond is. Is it a brown? Light brown, off white. It is an off white. All right, <clears throat> good luck. That's it. That doesn't stand out enough. Something green. Something green. Goodbye, Blanche Dolman. I like what you sound like, but grr. Real forest green. It'll be the forest. In the what wish you luck in the forest. Good luck. There we go. That's that's that off. So now I've got we've now got we've now got a help screen. Um, telling it tells you what to do. Get paid and be happy. Yes, sir. That is a that's a mighty fine help screen. It's improving it's move faster for a while. I should probably put in here the cost. Cost five dollars. Cost ten dollars, and while that should be just fine because these are obviously uh, not as long, just want to make sure. Want to see what it looks like? Cost five dollars. Cost ten dollars. Try to balance between time and money. Blah, blah, blah. The hearts don't really cost money. Good luck. Okay, we call that. I'm calling that a done help screen. Say squee. Bunk. Option screen. And title screen. So let me see. Um, option screen I'm going to defer because I. That requires a little bit more work, and here in the middle of. <coughs> In the middle of things, we're gonna clean. We're gonna, we're gonna pick the low-hanging fruit today. So here is the title screen. Is there anything really wrong with this title screen? Um, it is, it is not. It is not the mightiest title screen ever. Perhaps we need. <laughs> it is pretty awful. But I really don't know what to do with it at this point. So let's defer you as well. Um, better graphics. You know what? We're not. We're, we're not going to have them. I will not do this. I'm going to archive it. The paused screen. Okay. Let's list of high list high scores. I'm already doing that. So I don't need you. So let's take a look. Look, here's an easy one. It's a paused screen. Go. Date the pause screen. <clears throat> Draw the paused screen. So, super brilliant. So, we're going to make that red. Now, <clears throat> we don't have a cool way, or maybe I do have a cool way of, uh, with a sprite font. Let's look that up, because 
what I want to do with paused and the go back, I want to center it. With a sprite font. So now see what kind of methods we got. Sprite font. Drawing text with sprite fonts. Coloring font, making a sprite font. Using the sprite font. Do I have a Okay, well, that was very, very basic. All right, I'm going to take a look at... So, to get Miramont font gives me the font. So, let font equal assets get Miramonti. Miramonti fonty. And font dot... There, measure string. Okay. Paused. Okay, let paused measure equal that. Let unpause. Measure equal that. All right, we're going to make. And we know that we're six forty minus paused measure x divided by. And similarly, it's going to be unpaused measure. Making the assumption that the x coordinate is how wide it is. Too many parentheses. Now let's check out the pause screen, see if <coughs> we have that right. Start it, and then... Hmm... Well, it's... Kinda... Oh, wait, it's one... That's 500. Alright. Because I did not make it the full 1280. Silly, silly me. Now it'll work. Pause. Hey. Okay. Pause screen. Done. My high score screen. Let's take a look at how bad it looks. So high score is now four. Oh, right, because I don't have gamejolt.com. I'd go here. I did eventually figure out how to get to my game. So where is, where are my API settings? Grab those out. Put them in program. So now I should be able to see. So 
high scores f4. If I have 10, so I take off the top 30, and I take off the bottom 40. So I take off the top to the calculator. I have 720. And I'll say I subtract 40 from the top minus 40 from 40 from the bottom. Okay. Let's try that again. 720 minus essentially 80. Divide that by 10. Leaves me with 64. A lot of times 60, really. So if I put... Alright, let's say I put the top one at 60. So, 11 times 60 is 660, and I can leave that at 680. Alright, this is how we're going to do this. <clears throat> we're not doing much to this at all. Draw a score. Minus 60. times so it's 60 times that it's going to be 60 plus 60 times the list of high scores it's going to be white this is going to be gray and these will be because we tend to kind of go with blue for our color And let's find out if that works. So, our scores. Nope, that's too many. Up, oh, yep, we have it. It's a one off bug. Alright. good enough. Yes, as as you get closer to the end of a project, you're like, yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's that's well we're gonna be good with that. Cause I mean, you just wanna you just need to you have such great divisions in the beginning of the project, but by the time you're at the end it's like, I just want this done. Trophies. <clears throat> I wanted to make some more, actually. And let's go, in, let's go here to Money Face, Game API, and some trophies. Um, I'm going to have some things for. Um, For this as well, I'm going to say acquired 10 hearts. You acquired 10 hearts. Clever, yeah? And I'm going to add another one. So, so let's three, three, three. Oh, actually. We're going to do this. We're going to add a silver trophy. So we're going to go 10, 20, 40, 80. Hmm. Acquired. Do I do 25 hearts? No, I'll do 20. You acquired 20. Nope, I want this. I want it to be silver. That one's silver. Okay. Um, I don't really know. I'm, I don't know how easy it is to get 
any of these things. Well, we'll just make the trophy. Acquired 40 hearts. You acquired 40 hearts. There's quite a few. down the down the line you you acquired 80 hearts Take the trophy so three 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 four three five and three six but I'm also going to put in say <coughs> acquired 10 but no fun acquired 10 snowflakes you acquired five snowflakes. That one's bronze. And save the trophy. Make another silver one. You acquired ten snowflakes. It is a... If you have a lot of trophies, <clears throat> in your game told game it it is a uh, it is a tedious thing acquired 20 snowflakes and then 40. for hearts are three, four, five, six. Apparently nobody else is making trophies at 5.07 a.m. Central Standard Time. Because these are these are given out uh, sequentially in, in, in it from a database. So, yeah, wow. Full set of full set of twelve here. Let's get them into the code. And also, let's also get me back to logging in. Because I know that's not, that can't be my token. Token, it sure isn't. Okay, save that off. We're going to... Alright, and then in the play state. Where did you go? Update PlayStation in my trophies. So I wind up with one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is going to be the heart counter. Well, I have the three, don't I? Okay, well, I'll just get rid of these. These are freeze counters, right? Freeze counter. Da, 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 da. That's this one's ten, twenty, forty, and five, ten, twenty. Those are not the trophy numbers. What are the trophy numbers? Let's close you out. Starting at 49333. All right. 49. We'll put it all in there because they're all sequential from here. Four.
it should show up there. There is no fanfare or hoopla when you add the trophy in the game. But let's at least uh, let's start. Let's do the heart counter and the freeze counter just so we can see. And we're going to want to use the gamepad for this because this is. <clears throat> there we are. Let's get them. Oops, that was two. That was cool. Gotta get to a freeze first. Okay, this is my first freeze. That's one. Freeze tax. So this is a, it occurs to me that uh, in order to get five freezes, I have to extend the game to about a six minute game. So, ooh. Okay. <laughs> you, can, you can sneak up on it. It can, it can work. Okay, get that done. Get gotcha. Of course, the counters and the money and the score matter not. It's the, the, the well, the counters matter. The score itself does not reflect. Well, I should really. Uh, so I've now gotten two hearts or two snowflakes. Will I have had? Ten hearts by that time. I reckon I probably will have. To watch me play one of the lamest games in the world for five minutes. That's that's what we're doing here. Uh, but we have to got to put the time in and make sure that. Trophies are working. Is that three? I think it's three. I suppose this isn't a bad little game. Oh, see, that was a waste. Oh, see, look at that. Makes for interesting choices. Dude, why do you like hanging out by that heart so much? Uh, it, is, it becomes so tragically slow once the heart wears off. I'm like, okay, so the heart represents what the little smiley face desires. What is it? Is it crystal meth? Who knows? Oh, gotta get. Gotta get the freeze. I think this is freeze number four. Would it be useful to have a timer? Would it be useful to have a, have a, have a record of uh, how many of these you had? Maybe. I'm, I'm storing them. I can certainly, certainly print them out. I think I'm at four, so I will do this one. Oh, let's, let's actually get our mood timer. In the end, I'm 
not so sure that it's going to be even possible to get like 40 of those. I don't think it is. I think some of these are impossible and I may need to, to nerf that a bit. That's, eight. That's five. Ain't doing it. The gamepad control is much more, uh, much better than the keyboard control because I can go at any old angle if I feel like it. And you can really tell the difference. Um, did I do it? Yep. Game gamepads on, keyboards off, so that you don't fight them. Okay, I'm not getting the next freeze timer. Game jolt here. I'm going to go to the game page, view the game page, and I got. Oh, which ones did I get? This one is. Well, I actually got that silver time. Which gold timer did I get? Well, which ones? What are they? Hmm. Trophies. Okay, I acquired 25. Got. Okay, I acquired. I acquired 100. So I get two gold. Well, all right, that's cool. And that's going to be. That's going to be it. With this. Okay, so trophies are all done. And wow, okay. We're down to an option screen and a title screen. And then we're gonna call it a game. <coughs> and that's we got we got time to do that before the end of the month. And thanks so much for joining me for the joy of functional game dev. And we'll see you next time.